Hello everyone, this will be the third and last part of our learning apps tutorial. So as uh, usual, we'll go to this tab, create app, and we'll take a look at two of the tools that we have at the bottom. We previously created a chat for our class. Notice that we can also create a calendar, and also there's a voting app. For example, if you have uh, different choices that the students can vote for you can try it for example if if you could have a you could have a fake uh, presidential election for your class you can insert candidates here or the political parties here and we'll take a look at the one called pinboard we'll click on create new app Okay, let's give it a title. Let's call it Collective Wall. You may insert the uh, general instructions here. Uh, you can mark on unmark this. This allow edit other notes, only own notes. Uh, this allow moving of other user notes. Sometimes th th this could be useful so uh, the, the notes are not disorganized. And these are the types of media that can be inserted from text, image, audio, and video. You can ser uh, set a password so you can edit uh, the information here. You can also select a background image. If not, you will have this. It looks like a cork bulletin board. And you can click on Finish Editing and Show Preview. So, for example, if you have tried the tools like Padlet, this is pretty similar. So, you have uh, four buttons here to choose the type of media you want to share. Yeah, you have notes, uh, images, audio, and video, and the, the color of your note. For example, if I'm using note, you select, and you can change the color. Let me see it right now it is not allowed to edit the note. I'm going to try this color and write something and, and you may drag and drop the tag and, and may insert other types of media as well. So you can use this as a collaborative space for your class. If you're satisfied with the way it looks, you can save it. As usual, you're shown the links, a regular web link, full screen, an embed link, a QR code, and it is saved in My Apps. So we need to organize it. it goes to Practice. We're going to go back. There's another tool called Notebook. We're going to create a new one. So let's call it Class Log. You may insert instructions here. You can set a password in case uh, people need to edit their posts. And you can click Finish Editing and Show. So basically it looks like a notebook. You have this link here, create new topic. So you write your name. Okay. You write the topic. And type your message and click on create. So you have it here and all of your students entries will be shown here so they can create a new topic or a new post for example if they create a new post they, are, they will be replying to this one the first for example if I, if I wrote hi and they, they write a new post it will be a response if they create a new topic it's gonna be on the left and it's gonna be a new 
a new tab here so you could have this as a sort of a forum or a log as I called it and, and use this to to keep a record of, of students participation in this case you can only add text we're gonna save it so you have the links we're going to organize it practice we go back to create app uh, notice I'm not going to uh, go over every single one of the learning apps but they essentially work in the same way we have this called uh, guess the word you have an example um, this one is uh, in Greek I think basically this is a, a hangman game but, but they, they decide, decided to call it guess the word and, and remove the, the, the hangman drawing and changed it for a flower so if you click on a, on a letter and it's not correct the flower loses petals instead of uh, the hangman being executed. We're going to create your app. Let's call it vegetables and probably identify the vegetables. Potato P, and you can keep on adding other elements, and and you may have a hint in in text, image, or audio or text to speech format. You can select random order or order like listed above. The general feedback. You finish editing and show preview. Okay, see, identify the vegetables. For example, I, I know I wrote potato and pea. Okay, let's mess a letter and see the flower loses a petal. So we're going to save it. It's in my apps. We're going to organize it to practice. Okay, see, we'll have a puzzle, horse race, the million, millionaire game it looks kind of like uh, who wants to be a millionaire. And there's a format that probably will help you in language courses, audio, video with notices. We'll look at the examples. Okay. So basically, you insert a video from YouTube and you place some markers with questions or notices. We're going to create a, a new app to see, to see this in action. Let's write something current COVID-19. You may have uh, general instructions and select audio video here so we need to find one for example if you have the URL ready you can paste it here if not you can search YouTube let's try yeah vaccine COVID-19 vaccine okay let's try this Okay, we're going to copy the link and we will paste the link here and click use the video. Okay, so now we have the video here and time to display. For example, um, for example, it could be at uh, 0 0.33 seconds.
and you can write uh, either a comment or a question to for students to discuss in class for example when will the vaccine be ready for example one minute are there any side effects for example See, so you can keep on adding as many elements as you want and notice these buttons here, select app. You could insert an activity, for example, it could be a multiple choice quiz, a closed test, some other exercise that you have created previously and have the students complete it according to the content from the video. If not, you can just have comments or, or questions for for uh, a discussion but you, but you could have a more elaborate task if you insert an existing app from your collection I'm going to click finish editing and show preview okay so you see, see you have tabs if I click on the first one yeah when will the vaccine be ready go on with the video for example if you as I had marked uh, 0 0.33 seconds the video will stop at that time and this one is uh, at one minute so this is a bit similar to ED puzzle so if you're familiar with that tool th this is pretty much the same so we're gonna save the app Again, you have the links. We're gonna go to my apps and organize it. Practice. Okay, so now we have a total of 10 apps. And there's a final app that will allow you to create a unit with all the apps that you have. And it is the app matrix. We're gonna create a new one. Let's call it review practice. You may include a general set of instructions for this. You can have uh, an image, a text, a headline about the apps. And here you can select all the apps that you have created. So it's practice. Okay, that one is the alphabet. It's important to have the headings here. Alphabet, another one. Select app. And remember, uh, the first uh, the first part of the tutorial, I told you to create a folder. So it's easier for you to identify the different apps that you have created. Color therapy. And again, this would be a, a unit with very, uh, with not much in common because I, I created apps with different topics. But this is just an example for you to see how this works. Okay, just one more for you to see. You can keep on adding as many as you wish. You can have the general feedback at the end of all the activities and you can now click finish editing and show preview. Okay, so they will appear as tiles. So when students click on any of the tiles, they will be directed to the corresponding apps and there will be links to go forward and backward in in this unit so we're going to save it and now we have 
a collection of learning apps. So we're going to have to go to My Apps and we're going to organize it practice. So now you have everything you need inside the same folder. So I hope this last part of the tutorial helps you design your own learning apps.